All right, so the basic mechanics of this movement are that you are going to take your body and angle it either further back by walking your feet forward or walking your feet back to make your body more upright to make it easier. So when you walk forward and you're more underneath the, the suspension trainer or rings, it's gonna be harder versus when your body is more upright, okay? So the mechanics of the rowing motion are that I prefer to take a neutral grip for this, meaning the palm's gonna face the body the whole time. You wanna have the feet in a stable position. The closer your feet are, it's gonna make it harder and you're gonna wanna move around a lot more. So I suggest getting stable. You're gonna keep your body in a nice solid plank the whole time and we're gonna row up. So as you are doing this, especially as you come back down, your body is going to wanna to rotate towards the floor. So your challenge to keep everything engaged so that you don't do that while you're doing the row. So there you have it in a nutshell. It's a one arm row with the rings or suspension trainer. I use them interchangeably. When given the choice, I tend to prefer rings over a suspension trainer. I like the thicker grip handle of the rings. I feel like it feels better in the hands. Um, but yes, a unilateral exercise for the back, which is an important muscle group to train. We tend to be weaker on the back side of the body. So incorporating a little bit of anti-rotation with that one arm row, great little combo. You can modify it to suit your level. I suggest giving it a shot and we'll catch y'all next time.